This week in the Missouri Senate, we review what is commonly referred to as the Wayfair Bill. Here present Senate Bill 153. The language, the nuts and bolts is identical to what we Wayfair saw. is a reference to the U.S. Supreme Court case, South Dakota versus Wayfair Incorporated et al. This 2018 court ruling says states may ask an out-of-state seller to collect and remit sales tax on sales to in-state consumers, whether the seller has a physical presence in the state or not. To this end, Senator Andrew Koenig of Manchester sponsored Senate Bill 153 this year. He presented this measure to the Missouri Senate Ways and Means Committee on February 11th. There's been a couple of tweaks that have been requested. We have a hundred, you know, hundred thousand dollar, you know, before it triggers someone having to have to pay this uh, or a business having to have to pay this, they want that to be clarified that it's taxable sales. It's one change. And Amazon, we had a kind of a phase in for some of the marketplace facilitators. They say they no longer need this because they're virtually doing it across the whole country anyway. On the same day, Senator Denny Hoskins of Warrensburg presented Senate Bill 97 to the panel. His proposal would later be added to Senate Bill 153. My main goal is to make sure that our brick and mortar businesses get to compete on the same level playing field as their online counterparts, which currently do not have to charge sales tax. The main difference in the bills that deal with Wayfair is how to spend the additional revenue, what to do with the additional revenue. There are several good ideas out there. My bill would reduce the overall sales tax rate and apply the same sales tax rate no matter if the item was purchased online or brick and mortar. This legislation also creates the Missouri Working Family Tax Credit Act, a state-level earned income tax credit that will provide tax relief to low-income Missourians. This provision comes in part from Senate Bill 248. Senator Lauren Arthur of Kansas City sponsored this proposal, which she also presented to Ways and Means on February 11th. She says she too is concerned with what to do with the revenue that would be raised from this new law. And I respectfully submit that a state-earned income tax credit would be a wise decision. Senator Arthur adds lawmakers have been looking at expanding the earned income tax credit for some time. It's designed to encourage and reward work. A worker's EITC grows with each additional dollar of earnings until reaching the maximum value. So it creates an incentive for people to leave welfare for work and for low-wage workers to increase their work hours. It's effective and proven. EITC expansions were among the most important reason why employment rose among single mothers with children during the 1990s. Leveling the playing field for local versus online businesses has been on lawmakers' minds since the U.S. Supreme Court handed down its decision on the matter three years ago. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.